All right, today I've got one for those of you who are working on a winged scapula and you're trying to do scapular presses, which is one of my favorites, where you're trying to work on your stratus anterior to get that shoulder blade nice and flat, or maybe you're trying to work on overhead stuff and you're trying to get that shoulder blade out. But if you're real upper trappy, meaning when you do that press, you go upwards and you can't get it down, then I've got one for you. Now this little fix is a really good one for trying to get your lower trap sorted and switch off your upper trap. I mean, maybe you're some of those people who, when they press, they lift up anyway, and you need to try and get it down, okay? So what I suggest you do is instead of doing it in standing, you do it in four point. So meaning, if you're in standing or up in this position here, where you're trying to do it like this, it's really hard to try and get that shoulder down or try and activate it against resistance. So I suggest you do it in four point. You'll need something like a power band or something sort of skinny like that. I wouldn't go too thin. I definitely wouldn't go bigger than this because it's just going to be too much resistance. So this needs to go around something that's not going to move, like a pole, okay? And then you go into four point. Now this is going to be your resistance for your lower trap or trying to get yourself into depression when you press. Sounds a bit complicated, but it's a really good feedback tool to help you stop going up when you press forward, all right? So what I would do is think about where your four point position is where you're doing a one arm scapular press. So this position here, where you're dropping down and pushing up, and this is very common where people drop down and they elevate. So what I would do, put this band through the arm that you're pressing on, okay? So into that arm that you're pressing on, and then go back into your four point position. Now this is quite a decent pull. What it's trying to do is pull me into upper trap position, like as an elevation. I want you to then fight that, so you're gonna use your lower trap and pull down. Now, if you wanna be really pedantic, I would go on a bit of an angle, think about where that's, that lower trap is working, I would try and pull down like that, so your lower trap's going down towards the center line, okay? So obviously not way over here, but you can go a little bit further over, which will give you that downward pull into there. So once you've got that position, then what you go for is your scapular press in that position. So as you go down and back, you've got a constant pull into depression, right, against resistance. So you're actually giving your brain some feedback when you go down and back of the right position. And you're actually training your lower trap, if you like, to work with your serratus when you go in that position. position. But be careful that, just 10 reps or so, because it is pretty full on underneath your arm, so you may find it's a little bit of pressure in there, but just 10 reps at a time, or 12 reps at a time, you know, two or three sets, four sets of that, but swap between each arm to give you that feedback between left and right. Now, as I said, there's some couple of applications for that. You can do your four point press position, which is really handy to try and learn that position, and again, maybe you don't go so heavy on the band. Then you can add it to things like a bird dog, all right, because some people with a bird dog, they go into, great position here, they'll go forward into there, and then they sort of drop into here, or they try and control it, and they just dominate in the upper trap. Now that's really common when you've got weakness in serratus, and that's, you know, when people have weakness in serratus, they usually have an upper trap dominance, because if you're gonna raise your arm, serratus needs to get that scapular up, all right? If serratus is weak, who's gotta do the job? Upper trap. So by default, a lot of these people are dominant in their upper trap, when they're weak in their serratus. So like I was saying, if you're that wing scapular person, you're gonna be weak in your serratus, you're gonna be dominant in your upper trap. This is to try and fix and switch on that lower trap and get that pattern of movement right. Because it's not just about, say, how much strength you've got, it's whether this is talking to that when you move. So practicing your movement patterns is quite important. So a bird dog is a great one for that. Again, this band can't be too heavy. Too heavy, too much load, you'll compensate. So when you're practicing movement patterns, keep the load reasonably light, there's a tip for you. So back into here, right on the top of that arm there, get that into depression, press into protraction, which is serratus, then get that arm forward, then get your opposite leg. And it's a nice one to work on, because you can see I'm struggling there, because I really have to work on down and press and hold, okay? And that's a nice one to add onto your Bird dog. The third one you can do is add it onto a push up. So when you're getting to the point where you know your press is fine, you've got that right, but your movement pattern into a push up, you're still, I'll show you, 
dropping in, I'll show you my knees, it's easy to show you what I'm doing. If you're dropping into a push-up and you're going like that, okay? So you're dropping in and pushing like that, which means you're just doing so much work here to control that scapula. Then put that onto your push-up. So again, you're practicing a movement pattern, start on your knees. Put that back in that arm, okay, into here. Go into that four-point position. Step back with your knees. Come wider with your hands, forward, and then get that into pressure. Fix up your core, all right? And then you can go into retraction, down into your press, push away, and up. And this just completely stops me using my upper trap, all right? So retraction, bend my elbows, push away, protraction. And I can really feel that that's keeping me nice and stable through there, which will just retrain a bit of how I press and make sure I'm stopping my brain using that upper trap. At the same time, I'm getting a bit of strengthening into that lower trap. So there's three things for you to try and get that sort of upper trap off, lower trap on, and get that movement pattern correct when you're trying to do psoriasis work for your winging scap and your pressing. See you next time.